Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video I've got a little something different for you because we are doing a nail mail haul from Shein. Or is it Shein? Shein? Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I got a bunch of nail stuff from Shein. So they had a lot of really cool nail stickers. Some of them, I think, were water slides. I don't think I got any of those. I think I stuck strictly to nail stickers. I also got some nail tools and some nail swatch wheels. So I thought I'd uh, give you guys my first impression, see how I like them. And because it is Shein, everything was really affordable. I will try to do somewhat of the pricing. I went to go get a list of everything from Shein and the website is not working at the moment for that part of it but where I can I will try to make note of the cost. Okay so let's get the big guys out of the way. The first thing that I got is this nail soaking tool here which barely fits in screen. This one I want to say was a dollar. So this is for doing little mani soaks. You can just set your hand like this and your nails can soak in whatever product you have that you're trying to use. As you can see here, it's a lot easier than trying to fill up a whole bowl of something, which is what I remember doing when I was a kid. So this is really nice. Um, it's going to have a lot of space here to rest your hand and palm on. So I don't think I've ever used one of these except for maybe at a salon. So for a dollar, I thought that was definitely worth adding to my nail polish accoutrements. So glad to have that. That was, like I said, I think just a dollar. Now this was the thing that I got the most of you guys and I'm really excited to see how these are quality wise because the last ones that I got were these guys here and strictly speaking of the clear ones because I do have a lot of these in the off-white tone. I do have a lot of these but this particular style with the oval inset in the clear plastic when I bought these they were on eBay and how they were describing it made it sound like it was coming in a multiple pack, but they were just counting how many nails you got on the wheel, which I thought was kind of sneaky. And these, they charged me like three fifty dollars per wheel. So I wasn't too happy with that. But these from Shein were packages of 10 of these wheels for $1.50, which I like a lot better. So let's see how they are. And you know what guys, I think they are the exact same thing. Yep, exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think maybe slightly different in how like, like there's these little marks there, but I mean, these are the same. So very happy with these so far. I did get like 11 packages of these packs of 10, so hopefully enough to last me for a lot of swatching videos, uh, but these are definitely well worth it. So if you were looking for some of these, I would set uh, suggest Shein for that because like I said, $1.50 for 10 of these is really, really good. Now, another little tool that I got was this beautiful multi-chrome heart-shaped dish. This one I want to say was a couple of dollars, so maybe two fifty dollars or maybe even three, but it is a metal dish and it is multi-chrome. Their suggested use for this was as a nail polish palette, so you could put a little bit of your nail polish on this and then easily clean it up because this is metal, but it, it's really beautiful. It seems fairly nicely made as well, and because it's multi-chrome, it's beautiful. So I thought this would be another really cool tool to add to my nail polish accoutrements. <laughs> so happy again with that one. Now for the nail stickers. I got a number of these. It seems like every time a season rolls around is when I start thinking about the kind of nail stickers I've been wanting. And even though I do have a lot of them, I'm always missing like fall colors somehow. Um, the ones for Star Wars for May the 4th, I still have yet to find any of those and get them. But I did get a couple of fall leaves in this one, but we'll get to those eventually. This first one I want to say was a dollar and it is some really cool geometric and floral shapes. Let's get this one out of the package. I think this one is just one sheet but they are really pretty. You've got some butterflies and arrows, some orchids, some really cute little designs here. And they are a decent size. 
I do have kind of small nails, but they don't seem overly too big for that. And even ones that say like flower on it are still really legible. So really happy with the quality of these. And I love the designs that they've got on this. So I think I'll get a good use of almost, actually not almost, of every single one of these, except for maybe the floral set individual stickers in there, because I don't see myself putting those on my nails, but <laughs> that was that one. Up next, it was this two pack. So there were actually maybe three sheets in here and this one was either a dollar seventy five or two dollars for the multi pack. Maybe it is just the two. So this one is some like ghost images of flowers, so almost like the silhouettes of flowers, and I thought that that could look really beautiful. I will say size-wise, this one back here with a clear sheet is definitely much more size usable for my own nails, although I will say a few of these are pretty large there, but some of these smaller ones I think could be really cute, like that, and little bubbles. That is adorable. These though, hmm, these are big, very big. I think I might be able to use some of them. Like this size right here is probably okay, but these big clusters or this huge flower is probably more like a toe for me because these are a bit on the large side, but really pretty. I do like this one here, so happy with that. Like I said, I think these were about 175. Next up, we've got these beautiful dried flower looking stickers. I thought these would be really cool for spring, summer, and fall. They've got a beautiful muted color palette going on. And I love how they have all of these uh, variety of sizes. So I've got these teeny tiny little clusters all the way up to these really big ones here, which again, for me are definitely not finger size. I don't think anyone has fingers that size. That's huge. Just a little side comparison there. That whole corner is one sticker. Um, but maybe a toe for a really cool, like, lopsided design, I don't know. Um, but in any case, you've got a full sheet here of really cute stickers that I really do like. I think these are absolutely adorable. They look like little pressed flowers, possibly like little pansies, and I'm not sure about these ones there, but those might be little daisies. So really cute, and again, probably about a dollar. Next up, we've got more flowers. And actually, this one I didn't realize had some full nail stickers on it. So let's see this one. So yeah, this one has like some nail wraps in it. So this one here is the full size of a nail, as is this one here. It's got some little like white writing behind it, which is gonna be very hard to see on a white background. But these ones here too, the reason why they look spaced is they are all rectangularly or nail shaped and they've got white lettering in the background. Not sure if that's going to come across at all. But I do really like the pressed flowers in the middle. Those are the ones that I think I'm going to be getting the most use out of possibly for the summertime, but they're really beautiful shades of like deep berry tones and deep fuchsias with some pastel pinks going on as well. So very beautiful and again this one was probably $1. Now we've got some fall colors here. I think this one might be a two pack. Oh, and we have some more nail wraps on both of these actually. Um, so I might have to fiddle around with how to cut some of these, but they are really cool. This one even has some little acorns and a variety of fall leaves. This one I was really excited to get. And then this one here is a bit on the early fall side, so you still have some green leaves as well as some fall colors mixed in. So this set should be really nice for the fall season, obviously. Um, so happy to finally have something that I can wear as stickers for that. Another one that I was really excited about is this one because this is stickers that look like little pressed hydrangea flowers and petals. I love that style. Let's see what they look like. So these, again, were probably just a dollar. And look at these gorgeous stickers. These are beautiful. I love the color palette of these. Look at this one in the corner. You've got this beautiful gradient on it. I don't know if that's going to come across very much, but you've got a blue to an aqua to a white. These are gorgeous. 
I had actually been looking for some real hydrangea petals to use and then I started to think about how thick that might be to actually put on your nails. So these are a beautiful alternative. Cannot wait to try these. A lot of these colors fall into that periwinkle or very peri color of the year. So it's perfect. It's also one of my favorite colors. So I'm really happy to have this one. I might in fact have to add another to my order if I end up ordering from Shein again. I've also been <laughs> ordering some uh, cat clothes which is a weird thing for me to say because I never thought I would be the kind of person to clothe my cats, but my smallest cat has been over grooming. So we're trying to find a way to cover her up and they have little tiny cat sweaters. So I got her one and she loves it. So I might have to order her another one in like a sweatshirt material that might hold up a little bit better than the one that was a plush material that she's shredding. But if I do order her some more, I think I might add another of these sheets there. The downside to Shein's nail stuff is they aren't exactly full stocked all the time. So if you see something that you like, you're better off just getting it. They always have coupons and at a certain point, I think it's like $49, you get free shipping. Not sponsored at all, just trying to give you guys the best tips and tricks for shopping that site if you want to. Um, but this is really very well worth it. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. All right, lastly in the sticker section is this three pack. Actually, I'm not sure how many might be in this one. Oh my goodness. Yep, definitely a three pack. So we've got these beautiful black geometric like striped points. Then this one might be hard to see, but these are moons. You've also got some like meteors right here, some stars, and the word moon. That one I was really excited to use because it does have some faded moon crescents. And given my name, I really like moons. And I had a design in mind for using a crescent moon, and I didn't have any, surprisingly, in this particular simple design. Willa, she is being super chatty. <laughs> Um, then there is the third sheet here with some more geometric line designs in both black and white. You've got some triangles and circles, some little dot work here. I think you're going to get a lot better view of these in the darker color here. Willa, what angel pie? What? You never want to be up here. You always just get so chatty. What do you think you want? Want to say hi? Hmm? What is all this? Huh? What's she doing? <laughs> Alright, baby. Come on. So this three pack I think was probably about $275. Of course you are getting three sheets of nail stickers to use so it's still a really good deal. Uh, some of these might be a little bit on the large side, especially the ones here. But if you had longer nails, this would give you a lot of design to work with on a longer like stiletto nail, which obviously I don't have. But I can use some of these smaller ones. And then for these larger ones, I can always break them up into about three different stickers there. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, the ones I'm most excited about were the moons, but I think these will be really neat to add to a lot of different manicures. Now on to some nail tools that I got. I got a set of dot tools. I did have at least one or two that I got. I think the one that I got was at the Dollar Tree, to be honest, um, but I decided I wanted to have a variety of sizes. I don't remember offhand what the pricing was for the set, but it was less than you would think. I want to say it was somewhere between $1 and $2 for this, maybe $1.50, which I thought was an excellent deal for five different size nail tools. As you can see, you've got up to the large size here and all the way down here to a much smaller dot tool. Now, of course, these are uh, I don't know how much of a difference you're going to see on the nail with some of these, but I did like that it has these little teeny tiny ones for some very small detail work. So I thought that was very nice. Now let's see the design of the handles here. So these are 
glitters, I believe. Yeah, glitters or flakies. So you've got orange, a deep fuchsia, pastel pink, pink and green, and then purple. So a really pretty design. So I can't wait to try out different nail designs with the dot tools. I haven't done a whole lot with them, but the styles that I have used, I've had a lot of fun putting together. And the cool thing about them is you don't have to be really precise. There's a lot of dot manicures that you can use that really don't require much precision. If you go for a geometric design with them, precision is a bit more key, but I've seen some that were really cute that sort of dotted up in random patterns almost all over the nail in like a gradient, either starting at the nail bed or starting at the nail tip and gradating outwards with overlaying dots. Very cute and very easy to do. So can't wait to try these ones out. All right, another pretty tool that I thought, it's not really a tool, but this is a little home for some of my nail stickers. Now what I had been using was little tiny photo albums, but I thought that this would be really beautiful to keep some of those nail stickers in. This one was, I think, the most expensive item that I did get, but I think it was still under $6. I don't recall how much I did end up spending. Let's see. Yeah, so you've got your little, uh, I don't even know what to call these, pockets, I guess. Uh, you've got it riveted in the center here, and then when it's full, it's going to uh, snap closed like that. It is a little bit goofily bent at the moment, but when it's full of stickers, it's going to lay something like that. And just look at that beautiful iridescence very, very pretty. I'd been eyeing this kind of a book for a while, so I thought since I was already placing an order for some nail stickers and the cat sweater <laughs> and a couple other things that I would add this to it, and I'm really glad I got it. It's very beautiful. Um, Quality-wise, it's actually pretty good. Um, this obviously is just a thin sort of mylar material, but the rivets on this are really well put together. The snap seems very secure on this as well, so I don't think this is going to be falling apart anytime soon. So very, very beautiful. And like I said, I don't really recall the price on this, but it could have been $350. Next up, we've got another tool that I was in need of here. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the package because you cannot even tell what it is at all. <laughs> So this came as a little two pack. I think it was $1.50 and these are little tool rests. So if you are using a dotting tool or a nail brush or a toothpick even for your nail art and you don't want it to rest on a piece of tissue or a paper towel or your desk and get nail polish everywhere, this is what those are used for. So you can rest your little tools on them and keep them levitated off of your surface. So I only really needed one, but the two pack was such a good deal. I decided, you know what, that way I can keep one in my nail polish room and one in the office. So that's what those are for and happy to finally have one because I, they were sort of one of those things that you don't really think about until you're trying to do your nails and you've got tools sort of angled precariously on your desk. So that was another little find. Next up are these plastic rose sticks. Now this is what they normally look like here. You've got a little round wood stick with an angled tip there and a pointed tip on the other end. And these, as you can see, it came in a huge pack and these were only like a dollar. They are smaller, which I'm not ex uh, surprised by at all. Uh, as you can maybe see they're about three quarters of the size and you've got a nice point on one end and an angle on the other. I will say so far what I see as a potential problem this little connective area on some of them could potentially have a little bit of a sharpness to them but for a dollar I thought that this was a pretty cute little tool to use and something that should be very useful and handy because I do use these all the time. So that was a little dollar find. And they do come in different colors. I just got the multi-pack, so it's a bunch of different colors of glitter. I see everything from gold to pink to green. So yeah, I think the other ones were solid pink, solid purple, and maybe another color. Almost wish I had gotten the purple, but oh well. Next up, just got a couple more things to go. This is a little packet of loose flakies. 
And this one, I want to say might have been just $2. So you've got six different colors. And just for a size comparison, this is how big the package is. So you've got some beautiful fuchsia ones. You've got some uh, yellow gold ones, some dark blue, some red, silver, potentially silver holographic. I can't quite tell if what I'm seeing is just like bleed over from some of these other colors or if it's the rainbow from a holographic. And then this one is more of a rose gold. So I thought that this would be really cute to use over some manicures when your nail polish is still wet. What? You can dab on some of these flakies towards the tip of your nails or wherever you want to apply them and add either a little bit of a metallic look or a gradient effect. I especially thought that the metallic ones in like the gold and silver could be really nice to play around with. Uh, so I'm excited to give these a shot. Um, it's hard to tell how much you get in either case, but in any case, like I said, I think this was about $2. And then lastly, I got this little case of glitter. This one, again, size comparison is about the size of the palm of my hand. I think this one was also about $2, and these are adorable little dot glitters. I will say these are probably a little thicker than normal glitter that I would use on my nails, but I thought it'd be kind of fun for certain manicures and looks, maybe as like little balloons on the nails. Oh, that could be so cute. <laughs> so you've got iridescent pink, iridescent white, iridescent, like a periwinkle purple, rainbow iridescent, aqua, and this beautiful like buttery marigold yellow. Very beautiful. It's got a slight orangeness to it. Whoop, maybe only, only on the one side. <laughs> so this side of the yellow is a bit more on the pastel side, but if you flip them over, they're a little bit brighter. And I think that might have something to do with where the iridescent layer is put on these but very pretty, very cute. And again, I think these were about $2 for that package. So overall, I've got to say, I'm rather impressed with the quality of the pieces, especially with my nail rings here. I was really sort of not worried, but apprehensive that the quality might not be worthwhile. Villa! Silly cat That the quality might not be up to par, but I was very pleasantly surprised with these. And uh, relieved because I did, like I said, order about 11 packages of these. So very happy with those. Um, I will say the downside that I did have with my order is that I did buy about eight more items that did not show up. And it seems that somewhere along the way, my package was ripped open. The bags that they ship in are not very high quality and the seams split open on the side and spilled out some of what I had ordered. So I'm still in contact with them trying to get that situated out. But what I did get, I'm really happy with. So we'll see how it all pans out. Let me know if you've had any experiences, good or bad, with Shein. Uh, if you've got any of their stickers and which ones you were having a good time with. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, a little bit of a detour from my usual nail polish haul videos. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I will see you in that next one.